Christians, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite blushes. Um, I like to do favorite videos, A, because I like to talk about my favorite things, and also because I get a lot of questions on my blog about what my favorite products are, and so I'm trying to go through all of them rather quickly so that way I can answer all the questions and then also um, talk about products that I love. And some of these have been around for a while, some of these are brand new, um, some of these are like Korean, some of these are drugstore, some of these are luxury brands. So I figured I'd let you know what my favorites are. Let's get started. First I want to talk about, I always say this wrong, Majolica Majorca. Um, this is, um, I believe, Shiseido's drugstore brand. I believe, I it's the best way I can describe it, although it's not drugstore prices. It's incredibly hard to find. You can really only find it on eBay, on um, cosmetic sites, or any sites that actually sell um, products straight from Japan or Korea. Um, and also, it's um, you can get it on Amazon sometimes, but the prices are really expensive. I love the brand. Their packaging is really whimsical and fun. I love this powder. This is their Puff de Cheeks in I don't know what color it is. I don't remember how to read Japanese. I used to know. I used to speak it pretty well, but that was in high school. Um, but it's this beautiful, and I'm going to swatch all these for you, it's this beautiful apricot color. I love it. It gives just like this touch of warmth when you use it. I adore it. I have a bunch of products from them. They're incredible. The packaging is so whimsical and fun. Um, and this is definitely one that I reach for all the time. The next up is a cream brush. Uh, blush. <laughs> I'm saying brush. Cream brush from It's Skin. This is their Rose Essence Soft Clean Brusher. I don't know. It's in color four. I know some people who love this, some people who don't love this. It smells like roses. Like, not like rose perfume, like straight roses. It's got a cute little mirror. And I love the color. The only real issue I have on it is I don't really like using cream blushers because they're a little bit hard to blend. Um, so with this I'll use like a beauty blender and then I'll kind of blend it out with a synthetic brush. Um, but I do love the color. It wears a long time and it looks really beautiful on. So this is the only <laughs> cream blush that I'll really make an exception for because it is such a beautiful color. Next up is one of my all-time favorite brushes. It's from Blushes. If I say brushes, you know I mean blushes, right? Right? Maybe. Anyway, this is from Too Faced. This is their Too Faced Love Flush. Your love is king. I adore this blush. It is so beautiful. I just got a new one. I almost actually ran out of it. Um, it's just this beautiful, like, deep, plummy blush. It is gorgeous on. It looks very dramatic, but still looks very beautiful. It's soft, it's blendable, it goes on like a dream. These are like my favorite blushes. I've got a few different ones, but this is my favorite one out of all of them. I'm trying to go through these fast for you because there's so many and I don't want this video to be like 10, 15, 20 minutes long. Okay, next up is from Kevin Aquan. This is from the Pure Powder Glow. This is the Fira mango i'm bad with names this is such a dramatic blush i'm actually wearing it today i usually whenever i wear this blush i literally put the littlest bit here and then i like buff it out with a completely clean blush a uh, brush see that's what i meant brush um but i just love the looks it's so beautiful it's so feminine it's just it's just gorgeous like look at that it's just this beautiful like orangey red and it blends out beautifully it goes on beautifully it lasts all day I just get sick of how much I love it like sick in a good way like oh so pretty next up is this little blush from YSL this is from their blush Volupte brand line I'm so bad with names this is in color 8 they had a variety of different colors I like this one the best it was just really pretty. It's light pink with just like a touch of coral. Again, forgive my art fingers. This one's hard to swatch. Like when I was swatching them in the store, I'm gonna use this little brush so you can get it better. It's really hard to swatch this one in the store, but actually, and the swatch looks really unimpressive, but actually when I put it on, it's like gorgeous. It just gives my skin like a beautiful flush on your cheeks. When I wear this color, I like to wear it here Sometimes, most of the time, like I said, I like to wear my colors right here because of my glasses, but sometimes I like to go for a little bit more youthful look, and when I do, I do it kind of around here, and I do it very light, and this is the color that I use. 
it's very useful without looking like I'm trying too hard to be young because I'm not young so I'm not trying to look like I'm you know 18 but it just looks really nice really fresh and really pretty and I absolutely love the consistency of this the blendability of this it lasts a long time I absolutely adore this next up is from Bobbi Brown this is part of their Illuminizing bronzing powder but it's the blush it's in Maui 3 if I remember how to open you there we go this is just really pretty feminine pink um, it goes on really nice it's just this beautiful pink and I think this works with most all skin tones I've seen people wear this who had really dark skin people who wear this who had really light skin people who wear this who had like the beautiful beige bronzy skin this looks beautiful on everyone this is just a really good universal blush and I like the giant pan too that was really nice and it's also got a very generous size mirror I already got two more um, and they're both cushion blushes. So the first one I'm going to talk about is from Lancome. This is their Cushion Blush Subtil. Subtil. This is an 021 Sorbet Rose. This one I never use a little cushion for. I use a beauty blender for this. Trust me, if you use cushion blushes, unless you want a ridiculous amount of blush on you, use a sponge or your fingers just because it's a little bit too much. But it's really beautiful. It's just so pretty. It's just this like beautiful like dusty p rose pink. It looks really beautiful on. It blends really well into the skin. Next up is this little blusher from Apu. Um, this is in color CR02. This is their Apu Air Fit Cushion Blusher. It's really cute. I got this. Um, this is the Doraemon line. They have a variety of different things. Again, I don't really use the little cushions for these. I use my beauty blender. This color is just this beautiful, nice, dark pink. It's like the same color as the um, the Lancome one, only it's like a shade or two darker. Um, but I, again, like the Lancome though on this. I love this one. This is pretty universal. It works really well with all of my bronzers. It's really dark. Um, and when I put it on and blend it out, it's still really dark. So I like to do this um, very dramatically when I'm doing dramatic makeup. I like to wear this. Let me swatch the Lancome one again so you can see how they look both look together. If you've ever used like cream blushes or liquid blushes it's you understand like it's really hard to really blend them unless you use the right tools which is why I love my beauty blenders for this. All right that's the Lancome. See what I mean? They're like the same family only this one's lighter and this one's darker. I don't like to layer these two though because they're both pretty pigmented and they definitely make a statement when I wear them, so I kind of like to just stick with one, but if I wanted to layer them, I could. You could also use these over your eye if you just wanted a sweep of color. Sometimes I like to use blush or bronzer all over my eye and just put some mascara on if I'm going for a really like natural, no-hassle look, so you could do these pretty easily. Um, they last all day, they're really comfortable to wear, and I really, really love them. Anyway, those are my favorite blushes and trust me I have a lot more in my collection so I just try to pick the ones that I love the most um I really think that having a lot of blushes is something you don't need I've just been collecting these for a while and I love them and I use them and once I run out of one I grab another one um, and depending on the look that I'm going for that day different blushes are the things that I reach for I don't like to layer my blushes too much. I may, depending on the look, layer two, but generally I just stick with one. If you wanted to know the blush that I reach for every single day, or if I had to pick my favorite blush out of all of them, it would actually be this one right here. This is the one that I wear the most, um, specifically just because it looks really natural, it's really beautiful, and currently I am just loving and living for apricot colored blushes. Um, before that was this one, and I think once I get tired of wearing apricot blushes, it's going to go back to this one. These both are really great. Again, um, I'm going to list all the blushes below, and I'm also for the harder to find blushes, like like from the, the Shiseida, the Majorica, uh, Majolica, Majorica brands, and some of the other Korean brands, I will list places where you can find those online down as well. Um, if you have any questions on these blushes, or if you have any of your favorite blushes, please link them below. I'd love to know and find out and learn new things and try new products, so I'm down.
So yeah. Anyway, thank you so much again. Um, if you enjoy this video and you like me and you enjoy this type of content, feel free to subscribe. It's free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes I even do them on the weekends too. Um, if you want to just like the video and not subscribe, that's fine. Or not like or subscribe, that's fine too. It's up to you. It's a free country. But anyway, thank you so much. Um, I'll see you next time and I hope you guys stay happy, healthy, and have a great day, month, year, whatever. Alright, bye.